how you can specify what logging you want to, to have run. And what we're doing right here is we're going to have a, uh, a console appender, which is a uh, basically says take the logging output, take the console, and we're going to use this formatting information, which says put up the date, put up the, uh, the name of the logger, and the, uh, the priority of the level, and then the actual message. And, okay, so let's run that. This is just a can, some canned messages that come out for about 75 seconds, and you can see that during the time, in the brackets is the name of the loggers, in this case it's the root logger, and the different levels of messages. I have warn, debug, info, error, there's also fatal, and then there's some different uh, message strings in there, and then the final um, piece of each logging event is actually the class and method name that generated the logging event. All this is, is optional and you can you can format. Once this is done, I'll change the format and we'll run it again. The, the idea here is you can have the same logging events go to different places with different information. So you could have um, logging information with a level of uh, info, say go to the cons console and you can send your warning stuff to a file with different configurations. Okay, that was it. Now we will come in here and we will change the, uh, the console appender. What we were saying here is we want to see all messages. So now what I want to do Oops. I'm only interested in messages with a level of info. And this better work or I'll never do another demo in my entire life. <laughs> Oops. <laughs>
this. And these little canned examples are in a um, an optionally loadable application called, called I think, ES Logging Framework Examples. There's a whole bunch of these things that you can run just like this and, and fool around with the parameters. And, and, uh, So I just changed the pattern screen, I, I completely changed what's happening. The very, the very cool thing about this is um, the, the logging event has um, always a time a timestamp. It always has a level, which is uh, six predefined levels, but they're basically numbers, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. So you can define your own. They have, a, they have an order. And it has optionally the name of the class that initiated the logging events and also the name of the method that initiated the logging events. You can grab that. And then it has an object instance variable. And you can put anything you want in that object instance variable. And if you use the percent O specifier that we had before, this was the example. Uh, let's see if I have it here. I don't really have one here, but the, the idea here is that if, when the logger attempts to write this thing out, if it, if it encounters a percent O and there is an object in that object instance variable, it will look at the class of that object and see if it has a method called print log for S. And if it does, it will execute that. Otherwise, it will just execute print string. So there's the capability to format any object you want to stick in your Logging events any way you want. Yeah? You can put anything you well, you I mean from the uh, if you grab it you can stick it in the uh, in the object instance variable. That doesn't really answer the question. No, there's not not um, Native is not the right word, but no, there's not really support for that right there. But if you could grab it, you can stick in this object instance where it will do it. Let me see if I can get the socket one to work. That's kind of cool. 
No, I can't hear that. Sorry. Any other questions? I know that wasn't too exciting, but it's pretty easy to use. And if you um, you can do lots of stuff with this INI file, you can also do any of these things programmatically, although it's much easier to use the INI file because there's a singleton called the log manager. And he's the guy who reads this INI file. And so when he sees console appender, he stands up, he stands up a console appender, signs it to the root logger, who always exists, and just, just goes on and does it. You can also, if you want, create your own loggers. For instance, the transcript appender here is assigned to logger vast. And right up here, we created the logger vast, if you want to. But for people I've talked to who've used log for J, they're they're pretty much they've pretty much been satisfied with just using the root logger. Because the root logger can go to all these different pender, all these different penders, which are just destinations, um, all at once. But it's, uh, oh, then the other the other thing that's kind of cool, which uh, let's see if I can. Okay, let's let's do this one. There's just, there are a bunch of these filters. You can say I want to filter on a class name. If I if I uh, uncommented this then we will only see messages that have the ES Log Manager class. And you can turn any of these false. So say, I want to see everything but ES Log Manager class. Similarly, on the level match filter, you can say, OK, I only want to see info or not. Or you can do a range of levels. And here we would do the levels worn through info inclusive or not. Or you can do string match on mom, and it can be case sensitive or not. Let's, let's do mom. I know that works. Okay, so we're going to turn on the string match filter. Bring up a new 
butter. But you could probably use this too. <coughs> I haven't tried it, quite frankly. Any other questions? I gotta give away here pretty soon. Okay, I hope you guys like this. We're gonna put some more stuff in there. Um, the next the next release, so we if you use it and find things you like or don't like, send us some mail. We read our mails. Okay.